Welcome back to J Thrill Plays. And if I recall, we're gonna go help some old man do stuff. Lance Hendrickson. Oh, punky head Hendrickson is in this game. This is Marcus. Deposit package. Alright, let's go. A colorful home. Whoa, I can look at that. Yep. That there. Oh, it's a face. That was just some random nonsense. It took me forever to figure out what was going on with this bird. It's fake as shit. Do they have little robo cloacas? Little USB birds? Oh good, a God of War file updated. Oh, I didn't do any, I didn't look in the mirror. There's me, I'm Marcus, I'm beautiful. I'm a handsome bot. I'm a handsome, damn handsome android. Uh, put that shit down. We're tired of it. Retrieve order number. Oh, take care of Carl. Walt, Carl, up. Wait, Carl, upstairs. Is this another face? Yeah, it is. No. There's some deers having sex. Another thing that kind of bugs me about this game is this is the house of just an artist. Like just a fine arts artist, a painter. Look how much fucking money he has. Like it has to be an inheritance, right? This artist don't make shit. Oh uh, yeah, let's just draw the curtains, wake his ass up. I don't want to do too much extra, I've already played this game. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. And I am your fuckboy bot. Sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I ain't never bothered to tell you about Amazon, either. I mean, he didn't have to go anywhere. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes, and I'm already gritting my teeth. He's got the diabetes. Mm, this is such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What? what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just well, can't me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Gross. What are the pooping controls in this game? Oh. <laughs> he just stops? It's just... <laughs> okay. Twenty minutes later... 
Marcus is also the toilet paper when he's out of toilet paper. And pause. Do they ever say anything if I don't? They just be awkward like this? Okay. Special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how fast they're going. Later. Okay. What else? Just your usual <laughs> fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, I do not wish to talk of Leo. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. What the fuck are the stairs? What's in here? Did I go in a circle? Ow. Go downstairs, Marcus. Whoa, look at that mango. I could kill him at his age. An infirmament. I don't know if that's a word. And we are off. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Now I gotta go cook the goddamn bacon and eggs. If he, like, made bacon and eggs, went out, got harassed, came back, this bacon and eggs is the coldest bacon and eggs. Feed your massa. Is that pomegranate? Oh my god, are we ever going to get to the parts where I can be a dick to somebody? Whoa, watch out for little Henry. Henriksen. <laughs> Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, I'm just gonna wander around. <laughs> he can't figure out what to do, I'm not even doing that. We can read some more of this shit. Uh, put it down. I'm gonna try to not pick those up. They don't do anything for the story. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of civilization. Are you high? Just to get to Why do you move are? like that? Sit down, find something else. <clears throat> Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Shit, are we gonna play a whole Speed game chess. of chess? Speed chess it is. Oh, thank God I don't have to do anything. Should I win?
That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Um, justify. We're well, being I a know dick. You don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win. So I felt I didn't have many choices. True. We humans are complicated. Stupid is what I was gonna say. One day I'm gonna make out. To take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are. Just turn them off. And want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. You should be the guy that carts me to the studio. <clears throat> okay, we did something else. Last time I played the piano. I got a copyright infringement thing. Not infringement, but warning. Take you under this giraffe. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, what a glorious morning! You don't even have to be crippled to enjoy a machine like that. That'd be Let's fun. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Um. Is it us making out? Is that Marcus? Clean up the old studio, cause the first two hours of this game is cleaning sim. Things are working. Aww. Consider yourself clean, table. Marcus! You don't move when I want him to move all the time. Bellini. Yep, that's art. What else? What else is here to clean for me? Lance Henriksen is so old that that's early drafts of the Bible. Zing! <laughs> I don't know anybody who's going to care about that joke. Punky head Henriksen. And I call him that because so, he was in the movie Pumpkinhead. What's your head. verdict, Marcus? The actor. Uh, I don't like it. Not a very good judge. I... I don't think it's your best work. Look at me being a dick. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each Maybe day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. That is dark. But enough about me. Let's what do you think about you me? Talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <laughs> Anything you want. You can paint it. Anything you want. Just try it, Marcus. Anything you want. We're buying time. So there's none left. Uh, oh shit. Statue. Paint desk. Why would I paint a desk? Can I look this way? I should paint Carl's painting. Paint it better. I'm gonna do that. That's a dick move. So I have three choices? Alright. Yeah. 
Being a dick with paints. That is a perfect copy. He said that last copy. time. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on. Just draw a dick on it. Right. Grab that canvas. Ling, ding, 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 bing, bing, Do something bing. for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Stop looking at me, Marcus. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Look at his little yellow circle coming deviant. We got to put him down. Starting to think on his own. Starting to get ideas. Uh, androids, the master race. Hope. Hope, pain, sadness. Uh, pain. Art is about pain. I mean, it's not a big deal if he has his eyes closed in Android. It's not like he's winging it right now. <laughs> That's what I look like on the inside. Yo, bro. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? I don't like Leo. You all right? The killing's gonna start with Leo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Some cash. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. Yeah, you have as fuck no, right no, now. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. You yeah. owe me yeah, money. I, I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather... You'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? The I toy mean, takes care of him. I know. Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. Well, You've never loved anyone. You never no. loved me, Dad. No, son. I have not. You are not worth loving. I will kill him for you, human father. We did that. We did that shit. Let's continue on. Who we got here? Connor? New Connor? Oh, no, my Connor didn't die. It's the same Connor. I got him killed a couple times. Is there a way to prevent that? Should I? Entree. What up, human a-holes? <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson. Scanning. Scanning.
began racial profiling. I guess I can't. And then go. Tim, let's talk to Lieutenant Anasa Hank. Introducing self. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent Fun fact, the actor who I plays Lieutenant station, Anderson here knew where you were. is also Mr. Krebs. probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Which is also the filth bar. You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide. Involving a CyberLife android. CyberLife In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. What is your deal, sir? Threaten. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> They're here to make Hank happy. I was his buddy last time. <laughs> the bartender left it. Uh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. In my robo where? hole? Never mind. Uh, spill drink. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Uh, Your sense of duty, what? Lieutenant. You can't? And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Hank came about it honestly. Duty calls. Ah, <laughs> duty. I am Connor. That was fun. Oh. You wait here. No. Uh. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen. You really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Selecting. Selecting. Let me out. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. I will fuck you, you don't up. You talk, Hank. you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an Android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. The other call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Finding the body, finding the body. Let's go yeah. inside and find the body. We open the, windows. the victim's name's Carlos. Carlos Mendez. Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. 
We'll know more from the car. Investigate crime. Yes, here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? It's them pop rocks that. Todd? Is that his name? The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. Funny thing about the killers in this game is they never, ever. What do we know about his android? The scene of the crime. Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some, some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. Where's that body at? Is that really not? Why is it not letting me pick the body? More dry blood. Oh, he was gonna go to the Robo Stripper Club. Perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. I don't think I went in here. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Multiple stabbing. What did he need to look at his eyes for? I already know that. What'd he do? Fingerprints? Reconstruct? Blood all over the place. They came from the kitchen. He was stabbed. No shit. Eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Regular letters. Font is what? Cyberlife Sands? Is that what it said? Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Should do it. Alright, we got some more in here. Classic signs of a struggle. Androids. Do the sex better. Oh, 
reconstructing. They abused. Where is the tenth piece of evidence? I don't know that I found it last time either. Was it back here? Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Hmm. I'm gonna try to not report to him just to be a dick. I'm doing my own investigation here. And again, in my first playthrough, I never, I don't think, I, I didn't find out who RA9 is. Alright, so. Okay, because I have to come back here, so I have to report to Lieutenant Anderson. Mr. Anderson. The fuck is he? Call me Mr. Anderson. Where are you hiding, weirdo? I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah. Shit. Yeah. I'm all ears. It all started. Uh. In the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is. Well, just bathroom because exactly I thought maybe the owner caught him worshiping. I think the victim attacked the android. Satan. Doll. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The victim is stabbed. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Uh... The android stabbed the victim. And the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. I am alive. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Oh no shit, why would I Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. 
It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Except for my black light vision. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Search for blood. God damn it, Connor. This one. A ladder was used. Traces lead to the attic. Did that scare him? Is he a baby bot? Is he a crybaby bot? Find something to climb. Oh yeah, the chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. Search in the attic. It's gonna be a mannequin because that's what people keep in their attics. Duh. God, I wish he could move faster than this. There he is. Let's go fetch him. Hey, robot. So what? Kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Yep, you just got snitched on. Okay, well, I'm going to end this here, because we're at about 40 minutes in that neighborhood. I swear to God, we're going to get to some dick moves, more so than we have now, than just pouring out Hank's drink. But we got to get the freaking story going again. That's what I hate about this, It's all the goddamn story. Anyway, um... 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. And I'll see you all on down that road in the next episode.